Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Dr. Sam's Biology. In this video, we will discuss extra chromosomal or cytoplasmic inheritance. Some type is also called nuclear inheritance. So, extra means other than. Chromosomal, we know that our DNA is locked in chromosomes and these chromosomes are present in nucleus. So, inheritance means transmission of this DNA from parents to offspring. So, how extra DNA is transferred from parents to offspring. So, first let's understand what is this extra DNA. In case of animals, there is an organelle that is called mitochondria. And in case of plants, there are two organelles, mitochondria and chloroplast. These organelles have their own DNA. That means they have their own genes. And these genes are present outside nucleus. These genes are present in cytoplasm. So, you can say that inheritance of mitochondria and Chromosoma, sorry, chloroplast DNA is called extra chromosomal and extra nuclear and cytoplasmic inheritance. So, what is extra chromosomal cytoplasmic or extra nuclear inheritance. Inheritance of mitochondrial and chloroplast DNA. How these DNA that is present in mitochondria and chloroplast are inherited means how they are passed from parents to offspring is called extra chromosomal inheritance and how they are passed. Let's understand this with our case with case of humans. In case of humans, we know that egg is larger cell and it contains cytoplasm and in cytoplasm we know that mitochondria is present. So suppose this is egg, but human sperm is very smaller cell contains little or no cytoplasm. If they will fuse and zygote will form, we know that in this nucleus half are, half of the chromosome are transmitted by this and it comes from mother and half are transmitted by this sperm. This crumb comes from father. So here in case of chromosomal DNA or chromosomal genes, there is 50-50. 50% comes from mother, 50% comes from father. But in case of cytoplasm, all the cytoplasm, almost all the cytoplasm comes from mother. It comes from mother. So, all the mitochondria that are present 
in this zygote are transmitted from mother and in, in inside mitochondria there is dna there is g there are genes and these genes are transmitted from mother only so in case of humans the inheritance of extra chromosomal dna or you can say that transmission of extra chromosomal dna comes from only mother this is also called maternal inheritance so in most of cases this extra chromosomal dna is inherited from mother but we know that nuclear chromosomal dna it is biparental 50% is given by father and 50% by mother but in case of extra chromosome however there are some exceptions when both when it may be biparental or it may be it may come from father only but in most of cases it is maternal inheritance so this is our extra chromosomal inheritance extra means other than chromosomes and we know that chromosome are present in nucleus so what is we where is this extra dna present this extra dna is present in mitochondria and in case of plant cell it is present in mitochondria as well as chloroplast and these organelles are present in cytoplasm that is why it is called cytoplasmic inheritance so inheritance of chromosomal and uh, sorry chloroplast and mitochondrial dna is called extra chromosomal inheritance and how they are inherited mostly there is maternal inheritance in case of extra chromosomal dna